evolution of humans. There are many things humans can do. Make buildings to dominate the world. Make animals do what we want them to do. Or make a civilization to persuade other humans. We have power over our family, the animals. We have so much power we don't worry about being protected from animals. Uh, but we worry about being protected from humans. We say we aren't animals, even though we are animals. But where did this power come from? It came from our ability to think, understand, and build. But then where did the ability to think, understand, and build come from? It came from our ancestors. Not ancestors as in family, but ancestors as in evolution. Evolution is the change of species through DNA. In other words, over time, species change into different species to fit different needs which arise. When an organism appears, it has got things which are meant to help it survive in a certain area and in a certain climate. But what if the climate in an area changes, or if a new landscape forms? The species will have a generation of new species to fit the new climate or landscape. That one will survive and the other one won't. That is what evolution is. Let me tell you the story of human evolution. Early primates. Extinct primates are very important because their features include some that we have today. Those features affect the way we live today. 25 million years ago, Man was flourished because of the death of the dinosaurs. And some evolved into primates. Some examples are Plasodapis, Notarctus, Egyptopithecus, Proconsul, and Sivapithecus. Even though they don't have many features like us, the Plasodapis are primates. One similar trait that humans and Placidapis have are the order and shape of the teeth. That shows even though we have to evolve to survive, we still have traits that go way back. Eudoprimates are the primates which start to look more like lemurs and monkeys. They start to look more like us, unlike the Placidapis. Notarctus are one of the very old Eudoprimates. These creatures had limbs meant for gripping and manipulating branches. That is why we can use tools or I can write this as The First Humans Early primates are very similar to us. But early primates were missing features that we have today. If you know anything about genetists who focus on finding missing links, you would wonder what was in between early primates and us. It is hard to imagine having a baby which is a human. What did what did early primates evolve into to become us? Early primates evolved into hominids, which is our genetic family's name. Hominids are early humans who started to walk upright on both feet and spend less time in the trees. Shahathropus tensia densis were the first hominids ever. Our genus is the Homo genus. The Homo genus evolved from the Australopithecus genus. The, homo, the hominids started to walk on two legs on and on the ground. Because the tropical forest was dying out into woodland, so primates started to spend less and less time in the trees. The first Australopithecus was the Australopithecus animanus. One of the most complete Australopithecus was called Lucy. She she was a Australopithecus. Pithecus afarensis. Early tools.
Early tools were first found in Odivia, George, Tanzania. The first tools were made 2.5 million years ago. At first, the tools were just sharp rocks. Different tools were sharpened differently. The hominids who made these were called Homo habilis, meaning handyman. The cores were the rocks the Homo habilis used to sharpen rocks. A core was just a big rock which a Homo habilis smashed against another rock to produce a sharp edge. The Homo habilis made many rock tools like scrapers and choppers. Those tools were modified to be hunting knives. New stone tools were made for different purposes eventually. New tools were modified until they evolved into modern tools that we use today. Torcana boy. In Lake Tr in Lake Turkana, Kenya, a 1.6 million year old nearly complete skeleton was found. This skeleton was even more complete and evolved than Lucy. That allowed paleoanthropologists to examine a more detailed and more evolved species than Lucy. This eight year old, five feet tall skeleton belonged to a home a boy named Turkana boy. Turkana boy was a homo agaster. These species body proportions were a lot like our own. Like the Homo habilis, the Homo agaster used very simple tools and still made them with cords and rocks. But the Homo agaster had a bigger brain than its ancestors. Also, unlike their ancestors, the Homo agaster walked on two legs and lived totally on the savanna. These hominids used hunting knives like tools to Hunt for animals. Peking Man Near Beijing, Zidon, bones were found. These bones were called Peking Man bones. These bones belonged to hominids called Homo erectus. Most information about the Homo erectus in China comes from Peking Man bones. Hominids were finally living in Africa and in Asia, too. Homo erectus had been on Earth for 1.5 million years. That's 10 times more than humans had been on the Earth. Also, Homo erectus traveled all the way to Indonesia. After the Homo erectus eventually evolved into humans, humans spread all across the world. But the humans were not the only hominids living. They shared their world with the Homo philensis, or furries, and the Neanderthals. The Homo philensis were very small and had more of an apron. Neanderthals. The other hominids that lived Apart from the forest were the Neanderthals or the Homo neanderthalensis. They lived mostly in Europe and West Asia. These hominids were great tool makers. They even made something like a spear. Homo neanderthalensis lives, lived in social groups like humans. They also took care of their sick. They, these hominids were the first to bury their dead. The Arrival of Homo sapiens Culture was new but in the hominid world. Cave paintings found in Africa and Asia were made by humans, meaning that they had culture back then. Also, they buried their dead in different ways. Like one gra group put a mother and a baby in the same grave. The old humans who did these were called the Homo were called Cro-Magnians, meaning old man. They lived 160,000 years ago.